All right, assignment time. Now I was going to create this top piece, but what I want to do is show you instead the organization it takes to kind of put all this together. Uh, in other words, you know, at the very end, what am I grading you upon? How am I grading you? I'm grading you upon the fact that this has good topology and edge flow. Uh, whether it has parts put together like this or parts combined into one part, I don't care about that stuff. I care more about the flow of topology and the fact that you tried to use the curves to produce some kind of uh, rope. The design can be totally different. I will be grading you upon organization if you check this out. At the very end, what I did, I joined all these parts together. So it's one solid chunk. In edit mode, you can go back to edges and you can see how the topology is laid out and how well that looks just based upon that topology. Okay. It also has an appeal because it's built the way it would be built. So it gives some realism to the piece. Reference points. Okay. Let me give you a reference. Uh, there's a game. There's a few game companies out there like Warhammer and Privateer Press. Uh, you can search those. You can search weapons like if you t Warhammer Axe, for example. There's a million of these little tiny dudes out there, and they have all these unique weapons. They have swords. So in case later on you want to attempt a sword, there they are. So there's some reference points. I think Privateer Press. And I'm butchering this name. There we go. Privateer Press. War Machine. Same company. But the, the point here is they got these little guys and they're, they're about an inch tall. And what I do, I have a whole bunch of these little dudes. Not that I play the game, but as an instructor, what I'll do is at a final... I'll bring some of these guys in and give it to a student at my modeling two level and say, this dude is what you're making. This little guy, you have to make all his parts and make it with good flow and uh, how would you actually um, break up the mesh and all that good stuff. So it's a great way of practice. Practice makes perfect. And if you want some motivation, there's nothing better than having like a whole bunch of these little guys on your desk and you can see all the angles and intersection points and trying to mimic that back into 3d land is very challenging and you learn a lot from it so that's that's what I kinda do I make up my own stuff of course but every once in a while when I'm stuck it it's nice to have some kind of surface representation that I can look at and say well you know what I could pull some ideas from here here and here and it bases it in a world of fantasy rather than um, you know real life so just to give you a hint, if you want some motivation, that's a good way to start. All right, so enough with that. Uh, when you're done with this assignment, I want you to turn it in as a blend file and put it in the designated area that I have designated for files. So enjoy the lesson, and when you get done, move on to the next unit.